Hello, dear friends. My name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I'm a clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Today, our topic is MCT oil or meat chain triglycerides that are consisting that consist of glycerol and fatty acids. What is that? Why are they so trending nowadays? So, let's figure it out. Here you can see the general information about mid-chain uh, triglycerides, that they are easy to absorb, to digest, they easily produce ketone bodies. We know that lipids are essential for our living. You cannot live without intaking of any lipids or protein. They are more energetically effective, they give twice more energy from one molecule than uh, carbs or protein. This is the structure of triglycerides. There is glycerol and three fatty acids. Depending on the length of these fatty acids, how many C, how many carbons are there? C, 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 you, you see here. Uh, C, you see. Uh -huh. uh, it, uh, we call it short chain fatty acid, medium chain fatty acids or long chain. Short chain fatty acids are very important. They are produced by our gut bacteria and they regulate our immunity, uh, function of our heart, lungs, pancreas, liver, even brain, the mood, everything. That these are very important signaling molecules. They can even control if we are obese or not, if we have high appetite or low um, inflammation, etc. Long fatty acids, uh, that is uh, the most uh, fats that we take with our food. Actually, their intake may be associated with some diseases like obesity or uh, heart problems, atherosclerosis or even cancer. But medium chain fatty acids are totally different. Because they are easily absorbed, uh, they can be recommended for patients suffering from malabsorption, when fat is not absorbed very well, for example, chronic pancreatitis uh, that leads to deficiency of uh, fat digestion, uh, greasy stool, low fat soluble vitamins absorbed, a lot of problems, uh, or with, for patients with uh, um, chronic fatigue, um, with uh, high malnutrition, for elderly, also for sportsmen as a good uh, source of uh, quick source of energy. They are even used for formulation for infants, I mean artificial milk formulations. Here you can see main four uh, medium chain fatty acids. This is C6, uh, the shortest of them, but it's very smelly, that's why it's not used really for, for, uh, for preparations of MCT oil. This one is the longest one, it's, it has 12 carbons, and uh, it's really not ketogenic, that's why we're not very interested in it. Uh, that's why these are most important for us. Uh, capric and caprylic acids. So if you choose the MCT oil, uh, watch that it must contain these two. The main sources of uh, MCTs are coconut oil, palmic oil and uh, uh, milk fat. But for example, if you compare it to coconut oil, the MCT oil, uh, coconut oil has a very few amount of these important for us fatty acids. Mostly it will be this one. That's why coconut oil is less effective. You'll see it in uh, future slides. And there is a good review 2023 about MCTs. If you wish, you can watch it. And these are the uh, trends of, uh, of investigations of this topic. You can see that uh, lately it's very highly studied in scientific community. What is so special about these MCTs? These are long chain, this is middle chain. Long chain, uh, they must be digested, then absorbed, then packed into this chylum micron special sacs with protein together so they can be transported. First they won't go, not, uh, they won't go to blood, they will go to lymphatics. Afterwards, they go to blood from lymphatics, then they go to liver, then they do transformations again. Then they can be used for energy, or if they want to be transported somewhere, again, they need to be uh, packed and then transported. Very difficult and uh, uh, energy-consuming process. Middle chain, medium chain, they are 
absorbed directly, very easy, uh, even for those who have malabsorption and go directly through blood to liver to produce ketones. Why ketones are so important? They are a good source of energy, by the way, very healthy, especially for neural system, and also they are signaling molecules. What do they signal uh, about? You know what is keto diet? Keto diet is uh, when we don't eat uh, enough carbs, the body will run out of our uh, deposits of uh, glycogen, of carbs, and then um, brain will have not enough favorite glucose fuel. And, of course, the body will need to substitute uh, glucose with something. And these are ketone bodies. And uh, ketone bodies uh, seem to be more healthy, especially for the brain. And uh, keto diet was uh, developed uh, almost 100 years ago for kids with epilepsy that is resistant to many drugs. And if these kids start keto diet, they get rid of seizures or almost get rid of them. Can you imagine that? That means this fuel looks like it's very healthy for brain. When does our body also produce ketone bodies? When we are doing fasting. For example, we fast for four days, five days, and uh, the same happens. And these ketone bodies, they signalize our body that, okay, we don't have enough energy and um, mitochondria, you must be more effective. You must heal yourself, repair yourself, uh, you must retune, uh, reset yourself and uh, body, you must produce more my mitochondria. Mitochondria is the batteries, is the electrical stations of our cells that produce energy. And this is very important. For example, we know that uh, low uh, mitochondrial dysfunction may lead to many diseases, like, for example, uh, chronic fatigue. It's not a disease, it's a symptom. Also, for example, uh, some degenerative diseases or even cancer, according to metabolic cancer theory. And here you can see that uh, this mitochondrial dysfunction is connected to even anxiety and depression. And MCT can help uh, to improve mitochondrial function and uh, mood. But uh, the most popularity MCTs received with weight loss. Uh, we know that they really can uh, effectively decrease appetite. And if you include it into weight loss program, it is more effective than, for example, coconut oil. Hmm, it's easily uh, explainable because I told you before that coconut oil has few amount of these important ketogenic uh, acids. And this is the study in humans. And also it was compared to humans uh, taking olive oil for uh, weight loss. And it was also more effective than olive oil. Even olive oil is not MCT source. MCT can also fuel the brain and improve their cognitive function in brain. By the way, the dosage of 12 grams was uh, same effective as 18 grams per day. And also there is the study for six months, randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled uh, on patients with Alzheimer's disease. And it showed that if uh, they were taking 25 grams per day of MCTs, 80% uh, of them were at least stable or even improving their symptoms. Here you can see a lot of other effects, uh, like antimicrobial, antiviral effects. Here there is effect on microflora, uh, gut microbiome. But I want to emphasize one other topic. This is post-COVID. We know that COVID uh, can go to the brain and uh, do the inflammation there, cause the inflammation there, directly may damage the neural tissue can cause mitochondrial dysfunction, can cause microthrombi, and that's why this dysfunction will lead to symptoms like brain fog, seizures, behavioral changes, uh, different um, mood changes, uh, memory loss, uh, dysfunction of uh, movements, uh, fatigue, etc. In this study, they showed the PET scan of normal people versus post-COVID sufferers. And um, what is PET CT? Uh, the patients receive the glucose, which is marked with special substances they will, that will shine on X-ray. You can see here. And uh, 
the more uh, the region will get this glucose, the more shining it will be. Uh, we use it often for uh, cancer diagnosis because cancer cells often take a lot of glucose and we can see these shining regions in the body. And here uh, they see that uh, during post-COVID uh, there is a low intake of glucose in uh, frontal lobes of the brain and high in the cerebellum. And uh, this looks similar to Alzheimer's disease. It seems like this region uh, regions cannot metabolize glucose very well and cannot produce energy from it. That's why the nice theory from the scientists uh, says that maybe if we give them MCT, uh, it's, it's totally different source of energy, it has totally different mechanisms, how the body will uh, process it. That's why it may really help those patients. So let's wait for clinical trials. What can be the possible problems about MCT? First of all, uh, they can cause, as you see here, uh, the gastrointestinal side effects like some diarrhea, for example, or nausea. That's why it's better to start from very low doses. Uh, for example, one uh, teaspoon or half of teaspoon, increasing it gradually. Also, you can mix it, for example, with coffee or salad or smoothie. Also, we don't know um, how uh, also, we don't, we're not sure about the contraindications. Maybe they can be contraindicated in liver cirrhosis, for example, because still uh, its uh, processing is dependent on the liver function. Or maybe it, uh, for example, will uh, increase the development of atherosclerosis in future after 20 to 20 years of uh, intake. Most likely not, but we cannot be so sure. We don't have uh, enough clinical data about it. And we don't know yet the exact dosages, looks like up to 30 is safe, uh, grams a day I mean, uh, but uh, maybe 12 is okay, mm, for me I guess uh, one tablespoon a day is fine. So again, let's do the conclusions. MCT oil, when can it be used? First of all, weight reduction, appetite reduction, uh, for if you are starting, for example, trying to do intermittent fasting or keto diet at the beginning, it may really help. Next, if you need a fast and uh, easy source of energy, you have sportsman, athlete, you're um, studying for the exam, it may really help. It may improve your mood, chronic fatigue, it may be helpful during the seizures. Maybe during Alzheimer's disease and post-COVID, we still need more data. And uh, it improves the levels of energy production by mitochondria. And it may be effective against uh, different microorganisms. But still, we need more clinical data on the patients. Dear friends, that's all for today. I hope it was interesting and beneficial for you. I wish you a good day. God bless you. Good luck and goodbye. Don't be afraid.